Hey Pirates, this is Rachel and I'm coming to you today from my sewing room to show you how easy it is to add buckles to your vintage jumper. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is mark the placement for your button. And uh, I've already placed one here on my overalls already. Um, so to do the other side, I already know the measurement, but I'll just show you how I deduced where I actually wanted to put the button. Um, the first thing I did was to line up the buckle and um, just get a get an eyeball feel for where the button might be best placed and um, decided that, yeah, about an inch in, um, an inch down and an inch in from the edge was going to be a good placement for me. And I measured and sure enough, that was really good. So. Um, I've got my little slide ruler and I have my measurement marked and I'm going to just sort of eyeball this a bit and make my mark. Make sure that that is also correct and it is. So this is going to be my place for my button. So these are the two pieces that you'll need uh, to install your button. The kit comes with everything you need, but you've got your uh, your outward facing button itself and then you have this little screw post that goes in behind the button. Um, it looks like a screw, it's actually not. Um, you're gonna hammer it into place rather than screwing it into place, but this end is very sharp and so you should have no problem pushing it through the layers of your fabric from the back side from the back side to the front side. So I'm gonna do that now. So all I did was take the post and push it through my mark on the front side of my overalls. Then um, you may want to go outside for this or find a place where you can't da damage any furniture, but you're actually going to take the button and you're going to hammer the back of the button, the post of the button, into the button itself. So when you do this, make sure that your surfaces are protected, that your button is protected, so that you don't lose the pretty details um, that are on the front. So let's go do that now. So I am actually sitting on my porch right now, and there are some very obnoxious crows um, telling me what's what right now. So if you hear them in the background, just excuse them. Um, but what I've done is I've brought everything outside. I've got my hammer, I've got the front of my button, and of course my overalls. And um, I just felt like coming out here and hammering this on the brick was going to be um, safer for my furniture inside, and it'll give me a more solid surface to, to make an impact as well. So um, I'm going to line up my button with my post and just insert the post as well as I can. And then you're not going to hammer from the front. You're going to turn it over and hammer from the back. And I just brought out this little uh, bag to provide a protective surface between the brick and the button. And then you'll just hammer the post. Just going to get it going here into the back of the button. And I'm not very good at this, but we're going to make it work. And that is one tight button secured. As quick as that easy as that. No sewing and no mistakes. Okay, so the last step is to add your buckle. And this is a very, very simple step. You're going to take your strap and feed it through the top. And then you're going to take the end and feed it through the bottom. And give yourself plenty of play here. I'm going to turn this over. Then you take the end and you insert it through the middle of the, bu the buckle and pull it through. And then it has one more stop on its journey and that is back through behind 
the top part of the buckle where you started. So you'll take the tail, take the end of your strap, pull that through and tighten it to your preference. So I've got a lot of play in mine. I'm gonna just tighten that up a bit. At this point, once you get your uh, buckles on your straps, you can try on your jumper and adjust the perfect fit for you. It's pretty simple and uh, a lot better than having to deal with buttonholes. Not that buttonholes are bad, but um, this is a very, very simple and um, great, easy alternative to buttonholes for your vintage romper. So I hope you enjoy. And it's as easy as that. So I hope that you found the tutorial easy to follow. Adding buckles to your vintage jumper just gives you another option for the already fantastic pattern. Buttons or buckles, you can't go wrong with either. If you have any questions, please do let us know. Otherwise, I will see you next time.